After discovering who he truly was and having him try and banish me from the city, I, I did not know what to do and I did not know what to think of him. But now that I know who he truly is, and now that I am actually king, I believe that he should be banished from the city and never be able to return again. So who are you and what do you do? Uh, I'm Tiresias, I'm the blind oracle, and uh, Oedipus, or Oedipus Rex as he prefers to be called. <laughs> well. He wanted me to tell him the truth, but it was so destructive, I felt like I couldn't tell him the truth. And I was, I was devastated because I wanted to help the king, but I couldn't. And then he ended up threatening me with my job. And so I told him the truth, and, I, and it just became really destructive, and it ruined his life. So I know you went through a rough time. Uh, can you share with us your feelings at this point? Well, you see, I ended up realizing I married my son, and it's... <laughs> it's really hard. It's all right. And uh, why are you touching my shoe? Um, but you see, I I married my son. And I had two kids with my son, and it's just awful because the townspeople they don't they don't even like me anymore. And I wish I had friends still, but no one likes me because I I they realized that I was going to kill my son and leave him out to dry, and. I, uh, I put things on his legs, I hammered his ankles to the ground so he couldn't leave, and he came back and he married me. It's, it's awful. So overall, you think your life's improved, right? I just can't do this anymore. I'm leaving. This is how we found her after the show in the parking lot. Four news, and this is Oedipus Rex right here. Um, Oedipus, why did you leave your homeland to visit this foreign country? Um, I came to expel the riddle set by the Sphinx to save the town. Oh, uh, really? Mm -hmm. um, what is what is the punishment for uh, the person inflicting this plague upon the city? Um, death. Death? That's a pretty bad punishment. Yeah. Um, there's been some rumors going around that you were like, you know, said to kill your father. And stuff is that is that plausible? Is that um, maybe I I mean I don't think so, but that's cool. That's yeah. cool, I guess. Uh, yeah. And yeah. then your your wife. How does <laughs> is that is that your mom too? <laughs> um. Well, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I mean, we had a couple of children, but they seem fine. They don't seem like they'd come from incest. But I think it's all good. I don't think I'm married to my wife, my mom. Those are probably Wife. some really weird kids. Um, <laughs> now, back to this play. Uh, what's what's this? The Sphinx told you this riddle, right? Yes. What what was what was this? What was the riddle? Yes. Uh, I can't tell. You can't tell. No. Um, I'm the only one that can answer it, and I don't want anybody else to know. So it's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. That's good. That's good. To know. Oedipus, uh, thank you for your time. Oh no it's problem. Great interview. No problem. I'm Wilson Vaughn, back with Oedipus Rex, and uh, we're going to find out some characteristics about Oedipus that we didn't know before. Well, it all starts with my uh, noble birth, and I didn't know that I was born noble birth, but then uh, <laughs> my pride kind of blinded me throughout the story. And then I had this really big downfall when I married my mom and had babies. But then I figured all that out, and I was enlightened by the end of the story. So that's the best story right there.